good afternoon Zambia wherever I want to go our feet will definitely take us there we are glad we are finally here where we have just come from a long meeting where we had come to Woodlands police station in the interests of creating a democracy that is sustainable that is inclusive and making sure that all Zambians are treated equally before the law that there is no one who's above the law and we came here at Woodlands police station to report the Secretary General for the UPND who we believe has uttered words that are against the laws of this country and according to our laws in section 70 subsection 1 of the penal code chapter 87 of our laws of Zambia he committed what is tantamount to hate speech when he called and referred to the sentiments that were attributed to the archbishop to the bishop of uh, Lusaka that is father Alec Banda we feel it is very unfortunate that such words can be uttered by a political leader and in particular the Secretary General. So we have had a meeting and we have formally lodged in a complaint and we have been given the OB number and the investigations have commenced and we expect the police to move in swiftly and make sure that it is answerable to hate speech. We feel it is against the laws of our, of our republic for him to call the clergy, for him to call a bishop of such stature, referring to him as being tantamount to being the Lucifer of Zambia. Those are very strong words and they are capable of causing confusion in this country and it should not be entertained that such words should be used by politicians to refer to the clergy, the people that are part and parcel of our democracy in this country. So we have just come and we have formally reported here at Woodlands and we expect justice to be saved. We saw how the police moved swiftly on allegations when they were labeled against our comrade Muni Azuru for the offense of using hate speech. So now the same hate speech has come from the UPND and in particular we have seen it has come from the Secretary General, the custodian of uh, Secretariat of the ruling government. He is the one who is alleged to have uttered those words that he called the bishop of the Catholic, a faith that believes in God, he called them the Lucifer. Lucifer is a very dangerous word. It is a demeaning word and according to our laws, no one is allowed to refer such contemptuous words to others in the faith. So we have sought recourse from the police and we expect this matter to be investigated substantially, properly and that justice should be served and no one should be made to be scapegoat. As the crime freedom fighters, as patriots, we don't want the political platform to be hijacked and become so messy where people are using unpalatable language, where they are insulting each other. We want our political dispensation to be sober, a place where people are exchanging words of development, where we can see that the words that are coming from our leaders are words that are going to build this country. And in particular, we are saddened as economic freedom fighters, new generation leadership of the upcoming Zambian that such words that are contemptuous that are demeaning that are unlawful that are contrary to the well-being in a Christian nation it is wrong to refer to a bishop regardless of how much aggrieved you are to call them to label them Lucifer who intends to divide this country on political grounds we understand it is possible the UPND would have been aggrieved which is their right but to use such contemptuous words to use such kind of demeaning words to use such insulting words that is against our law as it is contained in section 70 of the penal code chapter 87 of the laws of zambia so we have formally uh, reported investigations have started and we expect a quick action by the police to make sure that mr emenda is brought to book he is brought here and he has to exculpate ourselves because we believe Zambia is a democracy and everybody who has got something to contribute should not be shied away by virtue of how acrimonious the political environment is being made. It should be cordial and we expect the UPND government, the UPND party to lead by example.
This is Kaswan Demwenda, the president for the Kong Freedom Fighters. For us to elaborate further on this issue, we are inviting you this evening at 20 hours to be part of the live call-in program as we discuss this issue together with the fuel increment, which we feel is cosmetic and indeed not a real reduction. So let us reason together. The number you'll be calling on this evening is 0966 237612. 237612. Come this evening at 20 hours on this page. Kaswande Mwenda C page and be part of this discussion as we build one another, as we share ideas, as you'll be free to call in on WhatsApp, even live call, so that we discuss the way forward on how we should conduct ourselves even in the political arena. I invite you this evening, but to make a summary of what has happened today is that we are here at Woodlands Police Station where we have formally reported and investigations have uh, been done, the books have been opened and we have formally complained over the hate speech that is attributed uh, to the Secretary General of the UPND who referred to the Bishop of the Catholic Church as Lucifer of Zambia. This is Kassandemwenda, the President for the Economic Freedom Fighters. Whenever I want to go, our, our feet, feet shall take, take us there. there. God bless you.